Okay, so, um, well, darn it, it's windy out again. Um, this is TFD, back in another video, so, um, I'm gonna try and move it this time. So I've charged up the battery, I got some gas, and, um, I've just started uncovering it. Um, and I decided, you know, I'm gonna move it. It'll make a little bit of content, you know. At least I'm doing something with it, you know. It's not just sitting, necessarily. And today is, like, beautiful. It's going to rain later, so. I'll just, um, record now. And, um... Oh. Ooh. Hey. Well, hopefully I can try to figure out why the carburetor's acting up. I need to drill out those two slots. Now, I'll tell you guys now, my uncle never covered this uh, this car up in the 30-something years he owned it. Never once did he cover it up. Okay, so I'll be back with you guys once I hook the battery up. And I'll get to pouring the gas in. Alright, battery's in. get the point. Hey, all gassed up. And this should be interesting because um, I kind of did, uh, got stuck. So, uh, yeah, this should be interesting. First start up in a couple months. Really. Woo! hot in here. Let me wipe the camera. Whew. Backfire.
some backfires. hard to do when it's not running.
running, will you? sitting for a while that's what she does Woo. um this should be interesting i've got to move it let's go see whoa lots of smoke I'm not sure. I'll figure it out in a second. All right, so I wanted to get one walk around with it. Since it's out. Show you the rust spots on it. Other than up here, you know, this was all rotted out around here. But, for an Ohio car, it's only rust in there. A little bit up there. And a little there. That's it. Don't ask how that happened. <laughs> And this side, it's, um, hmm, I think there was ru rust down there. Yep, there it is. That spot right there. Remember, this car has 77,000 miles, keep that in mind. So it's in pretty good shape, I'd say, for how, how it is. See, that's what the sun did to the back seats prior to me getting it. See if you can figure out what trim and stuff this thing, this thing is. It also had blue headliner. Here. This was the color before I threw it out. That was for the winter when it got foggy um, moisture in here. Manual seat belts. Here, take a look at this. Um, yeah, you can kind of see where the carpet was. Oh, how fun. Ew. <gasps> Ew, gooey. Ants. Hmm. Wonderful. Ugh. Well, they can't really do, any ants can't really do any harm to cars, so. Um, fuses, fuses, fuses. Um, as you guys might know, my volt, stupid ant, my volt gauge doesn't work. So, I think what I'm going to do is go through the, the, uh, um, fuses and check it out. Hey, Dad. Uh, um, here, I'll show you guys. While I was watching the video, um, this guy's, um, 
one of his gauges on his 86 Trans Am. Um, the reason the gauge wasn't working was because the, one of the fuses were out. Yeah. So I'm thinking somewhere under here, one of the fuses might be out. What gauge isn't working? I don't know. I haven't gone through them. No, which gauge does not work? The ba the um, battery, the voltage one. Remember? No, I don't remember. Well, it's never worked since I got it and it hasn't worked in over probably it? 15 years. See? Remember? Right there. So I think I just gotta go through the fuses, one by one. Fuses or the, uh, well. Because there's no way of really pulling this out, I don't think. Well, I mean, it could be on the meter, on the bat, or on the volt, volt. The volt meter? I mean, it's gotta have some kind of a, uh, um, device there that's reading off the voltage and then to off the alternator the... yeah hmm i mean you could uh run it and unplug the the plug that goes to it and see if it does anything with that oh um, do we have any voltmeters that we can see if it's charging the battery yeah. right now that's something i need we haven't checked this whole time we've had it Okay, be back right back with you guys. Okay, so some of you guys might know, or, well, probably none of you guys know, that my grandpa does remote repairs, okay? And I've been watching this one guy who just bought this big boat, uh, like a wave maker or something like that. And um, the hull's uh, hull, top hull is completely ruined or um, crumpled. I I'll show you a boat that we're doing exactly like it in a second. But uh, as you can see, big boat caught on fire, boat, boat sunk, um, fixed, but got ruined by raccoon. Um, that one got fixed, ruined by nature and raccoons. And then there's a sunbird up there that um, wasn't running right one year, several years ago. Got fixed. Got, got the fuel running right. Runs minty right now, or does. And then um, there's uh, two other boats in the back that are just <laughs> trash. But let my point be that um, if you watch the video. You know, this thing can literally pull any about anything. But, um, he does all sorts of boat repair. Literally. Alright, let me show you. Well, you can't really shoot. I don't know what the damage was like before, but, um, it's pretty much almost done with this one. Um, he had to take the trailer off this one. I'm gonna go inside and show you the one that was totaled out. It's a lot more interesting. Okay, so this boat was totaled out. I think it flipped over or something on the trailer. And um, they caught the top haul is completely ruined as well as the bottom. It The gel coat was completely trashed. So, as you can see here, he's had to completely sand it all the way down. And now he's Regel coating it as you can see because after that then he has to match the red which it, it takes a little bit of time but it can be done and see it went all across all across it is crazy um let me i mean look at this it went down here Um, 
trying to find a spot that's um, wrinkled. When you can see there's a crack, there's like a hairline crack right there. But there was so many of these. It was ridiculous. Let's see. He's had to pretty much take it all the way down across this side, even along here, just to fix the cracks. It, it was pretty bad. You can see why it was totaled out. Because th something like this is gonna cost a pretty penny <laughs> to, to replace, to say the least. But it, it can be done. It just takes a little bit of time, as you can see. But it's turning out pretty good. You know, you've just got to follow the body lines once you start adding more on and whatnot. But, you know, this is just the mid-process of once everything is filled in. Wish I got pictures of, um, before... I might be able to pull some up. Let me go see if I can get some pictures and show you guys how bad it was before. All right, so let's focus in on this a little bit. You can see the extent of how the hull completely shattered. Get in the shade here. Gee, I think I'm gonna be able to see it too well with this. Main extent of the damage. I think this is a different boat, but let me see. Yeah, that looks like that was it. But um, believe me. There was cracks, little cracks, all throughout that boat. It was pretty bad. <sighs> but, you know, it's looking a lot better. So, after I cut the grass, um, back over there, I'll be back with the Trans Am. Sorry for the little interruption, but I wanted to show the work he does put in to these boats. Um, we are located in Ohio, so we do have a boat. Sorry about the itch. If you are um, in Ohio, you've been working for nearly 50 years on boats, so it does have a lot of experience with this. So I'm just giving them a little shout out. Be shout out. So, we'll be back in a minute. Okay, for all you tech geniuses out, geniuses out there, I'm looking at my fuses underneath of it. This is what I've got right here. Um, I see one that says bat. I don't know if that means battery. But, um, geez. Stop hazards, fuel pump, TBI, which, that's not it. Turn. See, there is one for the gauges right there. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, is this supposed to be that direction? Shoot. I'm going to turn it upside down. I didn't really do anything. Well, I'm gonna leave it here, right here. Um, I should. I mean, look, I have the key on. 
we can get this to work, this would be amazing. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So we're going to have to leave it off at, um, well, not, we're not going to leave the video off at this, but, um, yeah. Next, I'm going to try and drill out the carburetor adjustments. So, be right back with you guys. Okay, so, um, I give up for today. <laughs> um, I'm going to need a proper tool, and I guess my grandpa took the drill to get more parts for his, uh, whatever, for whatever. Um, but I tried getting the things, well, here, I'll pop it again to show you where the adjustments are. They have never been touched. I'm going to show you. Under there. And now you can't see it. Oh, shoot. Yeah, right there. Right at the end of there. See that circle thing? That's one of the mixtures that need to be taken out and drilled. And then, you can see I was sort of, where is it, on the screen? Okay, um, it's harder to see on the screen. Right there, there's the other one. And of course, yes, this is the original Karaja jet that came with it. So, here's all the miscellaneous um, things. I just disconnected this to get to it a little easier. But of course, that didn't really help. Now, the thermostat still works, even though, even though this looks like crap, to be honest, it still works. I, ooh, and it's really gummy too. It still works. I, I still get a temperature reading out of that somehow. So I'm not, whoa, okay. I'm not worried about that, but um. Let's, let's try to get it to start, shall we? I mean, who knows? Here, I'm gonna stop the video so it can focus. Couple pumps. This one is starting to go. Yep. Gears are starting to strip out.
won't stay running. driving it again. It just won't idle. guys hey dad C come here what the heck it's running I'm not touching the pedal look at that nothing it just suddenly started running Huh. What the hell? Well, it's running pretty good, huh? Yeah. Well, this I wouldn't, is... wouldn't complain about it. What? You got a problem coming in now. You know what I did, though? What? I hit the carburetor with a hammer. <laughs> you know that old school trick where people hit carburetors where the float is stuck? Huh. We got you know? a column, though. I the, don't know if you noticed. The wind is, the rain yeah, is starting. Yeah, the rain's right there. So get this cover Okay. Up. What? Sorry about that. Um, what? What in the world? Was it me? Have you ever had a car idle up and down before? Yeah. With a carburetor? Yeah. What do you know what you did to uh, 
I mean, I'm kind of like in shock right now that it's even... No. It's idling, but it's idling weird. I, I know, um... I mean, it doesn't sound bad when it does that, actually. What in the world?
There it goes, there it goes. Sort of. So it's on and off. It's really weird. give it a little throttle up right now. Sorry for the long video. No throttle. Okay. Well, that's going to be that. Oh, well. Runs really good. Okay. But that's going to be it for today. Thanks for watching and... Ooh, a lot of smoke. Um, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out, everyone.